Hello lovely people, I hope y'all are doing great today. So today I just want to share a quick testimony on how God has blessed me so much financially. And not just financially, but He just always blessed me in every aspect of my life. And it's just so amazing to see the things that He can do when we just serve Him and give our all, give our all to Him. So, um, I found out recently that I had been giving more tithes. Then I was supposed to, you know how you're supposed to give like the 10% at church? I was giving more without even realizing it. And you're probably wondering like how on earth would you give more without realizing it? Well, it was happening. Um, it's another story of how, how I was doing it without realizing it. But anyway, I was. And I didn't like trip out about it. I didn't say like, oh my gosh, pasta, I'm going to need my money back, girl. <laughs> Imagine if I were to have thought something like that. That would have been crazy. I could have though, I could have been the kind of person to say, oh, I'm going to need it back. But instead, I decided to not complain or not be bothered by it. I said, you know what? I told myself, I was like, um, at the end of the day, everything in this earth, all the money in the world, everything, it all belongs to him. He is the creator of this universe. Everything that I have, everything that he has blessed me with comes from him. So why would I be stingy at any point in my life? when it comes to giving, giving to his to the, his church, right? or giving to him, or, or giving to just anybody. Why would I ever be stingy about that if he has just blessed me so much? Like my church, our motto of our church, it's like we are blessed to be a blessing. And it's true. So I decided not to care about that, you know, that I was giving more. And I was like, I'm going to keep doing it because God has, I have, he has always been so providing for me. So literally two weeks after I said those words to him about how I was like, I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep giving more, it doesn't matter. God blessed me with, four, let me be exact with y'all, he blessed me with $437 that I did not have to work for. Do y'all know how many hours I would have had to work for that? And I just know it's all so supernatural and it's all God because... How can just how can I just get four hundred thirty seven dollars from people? So somebody gave me one hundred, another person gave me a hundred too, and then um, I was also blessed with fifty dollars, and then another hundred dollars. Actually, it was more than four hundred thirty seven dollars that I was blessed with in a matter of two weeks. Two weeks, and then uh, something happened. Something really cool happened. So this is my new Bible. I, um, I've always wanted a bilingual Bible because I, para los que no saben, for those of you who don't know, hablo inglés y español, I speak both English and Spanish, and I always wanted to not only memorize the verses in Spanish, but also in English for whenever I was speaking to people who didn't speak Spanish about the word, I wanted to be able to know how to say my verses and everything in English. So whenever I go to get it, I noticed that this one was a little more expensive than the normal ones, and I had spent a lot of Christmas money on people, so I was kind of like... My budget was a little tight, you know. <laughs> and I also wanted to get the message version by, but I was like, oh, I don't have, I, I gotta save money because school is about to come up. And I, have, and I was kind of like hesitant a little. But then I told myself, anything that I invest in the kingdom of the heavens, it's worth so much more than any price, right? So when I go to pay for my Bible, the guy at the, at the register, I tell him, like, I'm so excited because I've always wanted a bilingual Bible. And so he's like, you know what, I'm going to give you 40% off of this Bible. I just feel like I, I'm going to help you. And, like, it's crazy because I wasn't expecting him to do that. So I ended up paying, like, way less than what it was. And aside from that, I was able to have my name engraved in it. How special and meaningful is that? Like, God will literally use people to bless you whenever you are faithful to him, to giving to his kingdom, giving, you know... It's just God is so good. The Bible says in Malachi 3.10, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be no room enough to store it. God is telling us, like, test me in this. But do it out of your heart because it comes from you to give. And not necessarily just 10% to your church, but in general, giving to others, giving to the poor person that you see on the street, giving to those in need. Just test him and see that he's going to bless you. But above anything, like, because it says in Corinthians, it says God loves a cheerful giver. So do it because it just, it's something that, you feel in your heart to do that you want to do it with joy don't do it just to just because you're expecting to receive something back never give 
to expect something back, but give out of the simple joy that you get from giving. And so that's another testimony to the Bible one. It was so sweet. Like, it was awesome. I was so happy because my name is engraved on this. Oopsies. Anyway, and so God blessed me through those people. And a person that gave me $50. So she came up to me at church on a Sunday. I was going to start service. And right before I started service, she came up to me. And she was like, here, I feel in my heart to give you these 50 bucks. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to take that. And she was like, no, you have to take it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to take your money. And she was like, I'm just obeying God. So please take it. And she was like, God placed this in my heart to do it, so just please receive it. And so I took the money. And so she texts me the next day, and she's like, So I was looking through one of my old Bibles, and I found money in it. And she was like, I don't, I told, she was like, I had even forgotten I had this Bible. I just came across it, and it was a very old Bible. I don't remember the last time that I opened it. And she was like, And today I opened the Bible, and I, I see an envelope filled with money. I had no idea it was there. How awesome. God blessed her for blessing me. And God blessed me for blessing his house, the house of God. In other words, the church that I go to. And not only that, but just, it's crazy how God works. And so today, I just want to invite you to, the Bible says, test him and see that he will provide for you. He is the God that provides for, her, for his children. We will never be sure of anything because like the Bible says, if he provides for the birds that are in the sky, he provides food for them, why would he not provide for them? If there's anything that you are asking God for, if you're struggling financially, just pray and, and just give. Even if it hurts your wallet, even if you're like, oh, but I need, I don't have enough. or Do it and take a step of faith and believe that God is going to multiply whatever it is that you give. Because that's surely what God has done in my life. So I encourage you to trust God, to start giving to your church more, not only to your church, but to those who are in need. The Bible says, um, blessed are those who help the poor. And just do it and watch how God is going to bless you. While you're at church on Sunday, just when it comes time to give your offering, your tithes, just do it without even thinking like, oh man, this like, oh, I needed this money for something else. No. Do it because you're being a blessing to the work that God has started in your church. You're being a blessing to the place where you are growing spiritually. And just do it knowing that God sees your heart and He sees your intentions and He knows every He knows your your needs and your desires and just trust that He will provide for you. Alright, well that's all that I have for today. God bless you all. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a blessed day and I love you all so much.